Hey, welcome back everybody to Growing Organic. Right, today we are going to be planting lemongrass. You can see right in front of me. Yeah. Happens to be my cat's favorite. So first off, you want to choose a location that is going to be a good six hours of sunlight. So and then tip number two is going to be prepping your planting hole. Now you can see this looks kind of odd. It's like a rectangle, a lot wider and skinnier. But that's the idea. I want it to kind of grow and, and expand because what's great about the lemongrass is it will bring a shoot out, shoots out the side, and it will continue to grow. And you can separate the roots and keep transplanting them to grow as far as you want, like along a wall or a fence. But for now, I'm going about uh, two or three feet and what you want to do as well is you want to make sure your the depth going down I would go a minimum 12 inches from the top of your your concrete area or uh, your surface like right here I'm going to go 12 to 14 inches the reason being is because these plants do like some good drainage they don't want to be bogged down in in the soil uh, some poorly drained soil so you want these to be in well drained soil I got this pot right here I've already been digging quite a bit of dirt out but this is about 12 inches so I want to go just a little bit more I want to go about 14 inches so start let me just do this let's get a little more out of here and just scrape down. A little more. Try to get to 14 inches if you can. You can see I have pretty poor soil. If you look, look right there, this is pure sand. Very packed and no organic nutrients whatsoever. If you water that enough, it, it does drain, but roots will not go through that. And it will puddle if you put enough water in there. So I want to make sure there's no chance of these roots running into that. I want to give them plenty of space. Keep in mind, you're going to have to throw away most of this dirt or, or take it to the landfill or another location for it. Living in the city, as I do, I have to haul it off site because there's no more lo no more room to put any dirt but the key is prepping your hole which is tip number two to the right size you want to think about down the down the road in a couple years from now how how far those roots have spread because once you have one of these plants, they will keep growing and spreading. So hole preparation, make sure you have it 14 inches. And you can see I'm going straight down because a lot of people will dig and just have it right in the middle of that deep, but the edges won't. I'm allowing the roots to go all the way down See that I have it dug straight down the edge, nice and boxed off. That's going to guarantee plenty of root space. I'm maximizing my growth area along here as well. So the roots can grow right up to here, right up to here. I should also mention when you're choosing a location, make sure, do it in an area where you're still going to have room to walk or it's not gonna take up your entire garden space because these will spread out and be about, they can get four feet tall, maybe four feet wide. And as they spread, uh, they can take over more area. So I'm choosing a location against this wall here. So it's gonna be a nice accent to the wall for starters. It looks pretty. I uh, love the blue green color it has. Tip number three is preparing a good mix for the soil. So again, we're not gonna use 
this to plant in. What we're going to do is only use about one quarter mix. We're going to do a one quarter existing soil. So you may have a sandy or clay soil. Both don't really have that great of properties. So you always have to add a lot of amendments. So we're only going to use a quarter of this just so it goes a little, little farther with my mix. And I've got these already prepared. This is actually left over from I was planting vegetables through the summer and this already has a one quarter mix with the uh, existing soil. All the rest is potting soil, soil, compost, organic matter. So I have three five gallon buckets just on standby here. Keep in mind I had to haul away four five gallon buckets. This is my fifth one I think. Now that we got our soil already prepped, again this is a quarter existing soil mixed with three quarters good potting mix. And I can fertilize later and I'll show you how to do that as well. So I got about five buckets here. I had some old roots from some vegetables I was growing that I'm going to throw in the bottom just as filler. And those will break down later and actually become a, like compost. First of all, let's go ahead and fill this up. We're going to put a whole bucket. I think we're going to need probably four or five buckets full. So you don't want to skimp on this, this, this part of it. Because a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll just dig a little hole you know, like eight inches wide, about six inches deep, and then just throw a little potting mix in there. And just, you know, and that's it, or maybe not even that. But I'm going to great, great extent to make sure that the conditions are just absolutely perfect for this plant. Now what I like to always do is keep my plants a lot lower than your concrete area. That way it allows me to put two or three inches of mulch. Kind of lightly pack it, just trying to get to the right level. And I'm just looking at the soil level here and trying to equal it out to about three inches below my concrete. So that looks pretty good. So, so far I've already gone through about three buckets, two and a half buckets. I'll probably need another two buckets at least to plant this. Okay, so we have our good soil uh, mix. It's on the bottom. Let's go ahead and take this out. I can just slide this out very easily. It's still a fairly small plant. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this to the right height. That's This is going to be Tip number four is setting your plant to the right height because we want to add two to three inches of mulch. So we want to get it just exactly to the right height. We don't want the mulch end up coming over the top of our concrete. And that's a typical mistake is people will plant their plant too high. So that's about right. Let's go ahead and finish planting this since we got up the right height to account for that mulch. Try not to bury the stem. Take your finger along there, you can feel where the existing root was. And then just lightly pack like this. Just take your hand and kind of poke down lightly. Your fingers, that'll just snug it up around there. And then just go around. Looks like I can still top this off a little more, a little low over here. So now this plant will actually spread. It'll grow this direction and it'll grow this direction, completely filling in this whole area. Okay, I got some more potting soil to top this, top this off. Spread that around. Lightly pack that in just so it doesn't settle too much. 
again keep it clean around the base of the existing plant you don't want to bury that so tip number five is going to be give this plant a good amount of nitrogen like a fish fertilizer or hydrosylate tip number six is going to be the mulch so you got this shredded wood mulch this is a uh, free at, actually at my city um, landfill they make mulch there unlimited amount so this is something you definitely want to put on as well this just keeps the weeds down keeps the moisture retention um, has a lot of benefits it becomes fertilizer as it breaks down And it smells great as well. Has like, could have a hundred different types of trees or, or um, shrubs that are ground up and all local plants. So you can smell the different aromas of the ground up wood, wood chips. Okay, that looks pretty good. I could probably add a little bit of more mulch. That's only about two inches. Okay, got a little more mulch so I can top this off. Again, you don't want to skimp on the mulch as well. Don't be afraid to put it on three inches thick. This is why it's important to kind of measure the depth of your soil, how far you're planting the base of your plant. The base is here is what I'm talking about. So that's the height three inches down. We don't want to completely bury the stem, pull a little bit away, give it a little bit of room to breathe there. And once you have one of them, you can continue to grow more because these are easy to uh, propagate. Let's get some water on this and then I'm going to show you guys how to do the fertilizer. Hose everything off. Okay, I mixed up some of this biomarine. About four teaspoons in here. You don't need a lot of it. That's about as much as you want to use right there. It's very strong. In fact, I probably won't need to use this entire amount uh, on this plant. You can use it somewhere else. So I'm going to pour it just like that. I don't need all of it because I used a little bit too much. Now that thing will be off to a great start. Again, get any um, fish hydrosylate will work. Just a quick, easy fertilizer. You don't need a lot of the phosphorus. So remember, you don't need um, tons of the phosphorus because we're not flowering anything. There's no flowers coming out of this grass. So final tip is tip number seven. When it comes to winter time, I would say maybe December, um, January, sometimes these will not be looking so great. Go ahead and cut it back to about here. And this will regrow all fresh new growth coming out. You also want to try to propagate it as well because as this, these spread, you can tear these in half and pull out the roots and transplant them in another location. So you'll have endless supply of lemongrass once you have one of these. So I'll never have to buy another lemongrass. So the location is important. It's gonna get the full sun. It's got good soil, plenty of root space. And then it's up to me to give it the proper watering. As I was mentioning, you can use these in a lot of dishes. You can make tea out of it. Um, curries, different dishes, as well as it's very good for your pets, like your cat. Uh, my cat comes out here all the time and he'll just eat an entire leaf. So it's a pretty, pretty amazing plant. All right, there you have it. Seven tips on how to successfully plant and grow lemongrass. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click like. See you guys on the next video.